Hey y'all, it's Jessica Ray Plays, and thank you so much for coming back to the channel. If you are new, hello. If you are returning, thank you so much for your support. If you are new, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. It does just help our little village to grow. And make sure you hit that bell. It just sends you notifications so you never miss one of my uploads. And make sure you give this video a big sweet thumbs up. And today we are doing my top five CC hacks. So let's go ahead and roll that footage. <laughs> Number one, so the first thing that you want to do is you obviously want to load into your game. You're going to go right up here and you're going to hit these three little options menu and then you're going to go into game options and you're going to go into other and then you'll see this little thing that says view custom content. I just want you guys to click on it and there's going to be a little bitty, bitty box down here that says show at startup. You're going to simply just uncheck that because literally if you don't, your this thing is going to be popping up every single time that you come in. So what that means is for your game, every time that you upload, your game is going to try to read literally all of your CC and it's going to be putting it in here like this and guess what that does? causes lag and guess what that does you're sitting there waiting for 15 minutes for your game to start simply uncheck that puppy hit the check mark apply changes and i promise you the next time that you get into your game it is going to be so much faster your head's going to spin number two so my number two hack is just simply go into your Sims 4 folder and you delete the local thumb cache. And if you don't know how to get into this folder, I'm going to show you really quickly. You go into documents, electronic art, Sims 4, and then boom, you're right there. So you go into your local thumb cache and you just simply hit delete and you hit yes. And this is also going to help with your mods in CC. And I bet you're probably thinking, Jessica, why the heck would I do that? Like, why would I want to do that to my game? Wouldn't that make my game crash? or anything else no 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 no. it won't i promise the local thumb cache it just simply stores information from the game mods and your cc's like you know like it's like a memory bank for your game almost say you go in and you delete some cc that was broken or maybe a mod got updated and you needed to go in and you needed to update that new mod but if you don't delete that local thumb cache you can go back into your game and when you pull your game up bits of information from that mod are still in your game and can cause your game to have some trouble or even some error messages so that is another really good reason why you should delete your local thumb cache now when you do upload your game i promise you it is going to be slower why because your game looking at all of your mods all of your folders again Again, and to rebuild that file so that it can have it whenever it uploads again so if you're asking should I delete it every single time that I get off no 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 some people do suggest that but I don't I only think you need to delete it when you come in here and you fool around with your mods that's the only time that I delete mine is if I come in here and I delete something or if I add something or if I update one of my mods I that's the only time that I will delete the local thumb cache because I don't want my game to break or have any crazy things going on with it so so that is number two and we are moving right along to number three so number three is a very important one so you're going to need two different programs in order to do this one and they're pretty good i mean let me tell you so the first one you're going to need to get is a sims 4 importer tray or sims 4 tray importer and i will leave all that link down in the description box down below and then i need you to go download a sims 4 studio and you're like okay but why do i need this for very very simple so if you're like me and you have all kinds of mashes that you have to get for a certain item for it to work and you're like, oh, that mesh or like the original is so ugly. Like as you can see right here in this clip, the mesh might have a difference than the recolor. You're like, man, I wish I could just keep this mesh and not have it in my game and not have it so much laggy because obviously it does. Every little piece of CC that you have is more space that's taken up. So this is a good way to free some space on your platform so that you can run faster as well. So when you simply just go into sims 4 tray importer like we just did all you had to do was just make your sim upload her and look boom she's right there and all you do is just go into cc and then you click and then there she is there's the hair so very very simple and it even has the picture so you can even say that it is the right hair and it's the one that we need now is it very very important that you do get one off the gallery like i showed because you don't want any of your cc on that sim so then all you need to do is you need to right click on it and do show a containing folder and then poof there it is it brings it right up for you and it shows you where exactly it's in like look it's in my mods folder it's in my new cc and poof there it is and you can already see that i've already got it linked up to the studio now you will not have it that easy you will have to go in and like open and it'll say open with 
open with there you go and then you will have to go down here and you have to do choose another app which is very important and then once it loads up you will have to look for it which is really really crazy or you can look for the app on the PC and then you have to go in and find out where it's located and it does take a little bit of time guys I'm not gonna lie about that so then once you do have it loaded in all you have to do is just double click on this sucker and poof it's, it's like a magic dragon and it just pops right up let me just go ahead and make it bigger so you guys can see so here we are in the main part of this and this is really 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 cool because then like you get to see like what the creators see when they're making this so all you need to do is go into warehouse very 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 important when we're doing this because you do not want to mess this up so i want you to go ahead before you start doing this is to make a backup you can like literally copy paste it like on your desktop have a backup just in case there is something that you do do wrong because there is some very very different details that you need to know about so the ones that you can delete is casp c-a-s-p and i'll try to have a link of it somewhere else like where i found it online so that you can see what i'm exactly talking about if you don't have casp there is a casp part that you can delete or you can do casp part thumbnail and it can go away as well and you need to delete the RLE2 and the REL2 image now the only one that you cannot delete and you this is why it's very important to have that backup just in case is because if you delete the RLES it's going to screw it up that's like the memory brain that's what it needs the most of so if you delete that you're gonna it's gonna be scoofed so basically you just delete a lot of stuff that's in here and then literally all you're doing is getting rid of it so I mean it really will save you some space on to number four so what if you're in game and you want to pop some new hair on and you're like hmm let me go here and let me find this really really cute hair that I just downloaded and I want to see what it looks like on my guy what do you do you go down here and you start finding and putting on all kinds of hairs and you're like oh my gosh that's not it that's not it and then poof you find your hair and you're like oh my gosh but wait <gasps> you're like what's going on here my my Sam has question marks on his forehead. He has red eyes. He's got black patches all over him. That's because you, you did not download the mesh that was required for this CC to work. So it is considered a broken CC. So you're like, oh man, how am I supposed to find it in all of this CC that I have? What am I supposed to do? Well, number one, save it right away. Go up here save household oh we need to randomize him make him a human being before you do that and then you just go in here and you hit save download it to your library just like that and if you want to you can keep on playing if not exit out so then once you get back into your main part of your screen the next thing that you want to do is you want to go back into your sims 4 tray importer this is another reason why it was really really good to go ahead and download this sucker because it is going to save you a heck of a lot of time so all you have to do is just click on your little broken man up here and hit cc once again and it will bring it up and of course since i did use a generated sim there is more cc on here so obviously you're just going to have to go up here and you're going to have to find it obviously it wasn't this it wasn't hoops he wasn't wearing no earrings it was this up here if you want to you can do show containing folder and it will bring it up and you can hit delete right away and just get it out but what if you really really liked that hair you're like oh my gosh that hair looks just so good i gotta have it next thing you do hit this find on google what's it gonna do it's gonna bring it right up right where you need it probably the first one if not you may have to look but it's gonna it's gonna be really really quick and luckily for us it is number one so all you need to do is just hit this and you literally just scroll down and you're like oh how did i miss this oh it even says mesh is not included and you're gonna go right here where it says mesh original needed so you're gonna get this right click on your mouse hit copy add a tab paste in go and it's gonna bring it right up for you you're gonna hit download and then poof there you go magic dragon you got your hair it's no longer broken when you go in back into your game it's gonna be fixed you're gonna have it it's gonna look amazing and then and also another good thing is is what if somebody came to you and said oh my gosh those hoops that you had on were so freaking cute where can I get them all you have to do once again find on Google and guess what it's gonna do it's gonna pull it straight up for you and you're just gonna click on it right here probably and then you're gonna go down and you're just gonna copy and paste and give it to your friends so that they can have those hoops like I do as well super super easy super super fun amazing amazing app to have if you don't already have it I suggest go ahead and downloading the Sims 4 tray number five 
So number five, it, you're going to have to need the Sims 4 tray importer and the Sims 4 studio as well for number five, because have you ever had that pair of pants or that top or the hair? Oh my gosh, hair drives me absolutely freaking insane that crosses over between a man and a woman. Like, you know, you get a man that has this really curly hair and you're like, what? Like, that's just for women. Why does my men have it on? Or maybe your men has a dress on. You're like, oh my gosh, why is this crossing over to men? So once you pull up My Sims 4 Studio, the first thing that you want to go in to do is you want to hit My CC and it will bring up all of your CC that you have. So literally all you have to do then is just click on one. Let's say I want this one. And this is actually for a man and for once it actually has the male checked. Now sometimes when you come in here, it'll even have the female checked and that's what's causing the crossover. And sometimes it'll even have like female checked on here or masculine or whatever. And you'll need to, you'll need to solve those. And then that will be it as well. And maybe, maybe it's something crazy. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it is a wedding dress. All you have to do is go down to here and click this and it will not allow it for random. So if you're out and about and you see a Sim with a crazy wedding dress on, you can fix it. All you have to do is do that. And then you want to restrict opposite gender. So for this jacket, if I did not want the females to wear it, all I would have to do is hit restrict opposite gender and you can restrict opposite frame, whatever you need to do, it's on there. Let me see if I can try to find one real quick so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, so I found an accessory and this is a headband that is a prime example of what I'm talking about. So as you can see, it has female checked, which is what we want, but we do not want male. So obviously we're just gonna go on here and we're gonna uncheck it, boom problem fixed and we want to check masculine we don't want it on there from the masculine either and then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and if you don't want it to be allowed for any of um, people in your town you can obviously hit that which i don't mind it it doesn't really need to be on my other people for random and we can also restrict opposite gender and we can restrict opposite frame all kinds of stuff whatever you want to do and make sure you hit save because that saves your information that you do need all right, guys, and that concludes my top five CC hacks. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and comment those as well, and I'll answer them for you. If you're over on Twitch, make sure you do follow me over there because I do Sims content and maybe some other content as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye. Have an amazing week. Mwah.